Well, it is official. Jorge Prado and Red Bull Gas Gas have parted ways. Now, this is probably a pretty obvious thing with his, with the news that he's going to be coming over here in, well, this year, next year, 2025. And the supposed, well, rumor or whatever you want to call it, that he's already signed with Kawasaki. And we apparently won't hear from that until, until November. So next month, maybe, uh, which would be, you know, what everyone expects to happen it's not gonna be a big surprise when it does and we'll see about that from there but obviously being that he was with the team uh they said let's see here red bull gas gas factory racing extends a huge thank you to four-time fim world motocross champion jorge prado as he as he embarks on new challenges over the past 13 seasons within the company structure jorge has firmly established himself as one of the sport's all-time greats having de delivered exceptional performances and pushed the team to new heights on the global MXGP stage. Obviously, this comes after his back-to-back -back 23 and 24 MXGP titles uh, that goes along with so two MXGP titles, 14 Grand Prix wins, 33 motor victories, and 42 podium finishes over three years. Not too bad when you actually consider it. And with how quickly he looked like he was coming over here and picking up Supercross, I think he's going to be great. Uh, especially coming over in the 450 class, he's going to be, you know, probably at the moment the direct competition to Jet Lawrence, or that's what you'd have to, I I guess, expect. Um, of all things, he's young, fast, talented, and <laughs> this is great. I mean, if you're if you're a fan of Supercross, if you're a fan of, um racing in general this is going to be one of those things that you're definitely going to be interested in watching because obviously last year this year whatever it was the last season he came over and raced what two or three four rounds something like that and looked good and that's off of probably minimal training very little experience on supercross compared to you know all these guys who've been doing it for five six seven eight years obviously the lawrence is coming over from australia to mxgp or mx you know motocross racing in Europe over here they've less experience than probably the American guys do but you guys say I'm excited for this <laughs> if you've got Prado coming over you've got Vial in the 250s moving up soon if you've got the Coens and the De Wolf, maybe even Hurlings maybe you're gonna get a lot of the big name Euro guys coming over here it's gonna be exciting uh, especially considering we've got a lot of the I mean, how many years left do you really have of Roxon and, and Webb and Tomac and Anderson? Like, a lot of the big-name American guys are going to start retiring soon. And if you can get some of these MXGP guys, some of these big-name guys from over in Europe, you're going to not only get competition right back into it, you're going to get a whole new fan base. You know, you're going to get a whole world of people who are into motorcycles and dirt bike racing and everything looking at the sport. And that just means more money in, hopefully more teams, bigger teams, whatever you want to call it. And we'll see from what goes on there. But that's where I leave you guys. Comments down below. Tell me what you think. How do you think he's ever going to win a title? How well do you think he comes over since he's going to be doing it at, you know, full time now? It's not going to be a, a side thing or hobby or a, let's see how this goes. Um, and do you think he actually does go to Kawasaki, which is the main rumor? But whatever it is, comment down below. Tell me what you think while you're down there. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Do all the fun things this platform allows you to do because it really does help me out and I appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you later. Peace.